5.55 a.m. right now. What better way to reconcile by going and beating my own fucking ass in the gym, baby? Can't think of a better way. <laughs> so I didn't go right away. I realized I need to get something to eat. I need to eat something in the morning. You know, get the energy up. Give my body some sustenance. Keep the gains up. Keep up with my macros because that's super important. Now, if you buy my borderline anabolic program, I will have you tracking your macros because it's major key, major key. I've been working out for over 15 years. And for a long time, I was not getting the results I wanted. Like, I mean, I was shredded, I was looking good, but I wanted to put on some mass and I just didn't understand why I was just forcing myself to eat a lot. But once I started tracking my macros, that's what really took it to the next level. When you track your macros, it's like just math at that point. So yeah, I've been consistent with it. So I ah, need to get the macros before I head to the gym. Plus it'll give me energy. So I have a nice, good workout. So let's fucking get it. Get out here, baby. Woo! Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Sun is beaming in. I'm about to have my coffee. I don't have coffee every morning, but sometimes I feel like having coffee. And this morning I'm gonna have some coffee. So, gonna have the coffee. Gonna have the breakfast. Get the macros, get the gains intact. Tracked, big backed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's really been a long time since I got to the gym this early. We've been actually going at night. So, um, it's been a while since I got to the gym at like fucking 7 a.m. maybe by the time I get there. But yeah, so, should have ample, ample time. Usually we're trying to rush. We got like two hours left or something like that. Hour and a half. Like, so, this is gonna be this is gonna be fire. It's the first time I really haven't had to rush in a while, so this should this should be a fucking anabolic, psychotic, fucking electronic, damn near Terminator workout today. And um, so the plan is to go in there, go crazy on legs. Cause me and Dapa, we both like if you look at our two month transformation from when we started, bro, we were skinny. We're out of shape. Both of us slacked off for a little bit with our eating and with our working out for a few months at least. But you can see we made a bunch of progress, like our upper body and everything's looking crazy. We made a bunch of progress. And now we're getting to this point of anabolicness where our upper body's looking too fucking anabolic and it's not matching with our legs, you know what I'm saying? I've been hitting legs for a little while. I mean, my squat's getting better. I'm doing 225 for 10 reps at least, sometimes 15 reps. I could get a little better, could go a little lower and get more controlled, which I am doing. I was doing the Smith machine exclusively before just to build up my strength in my legs. And I just recently switched to free weight, so I'm giving myself another. I was doing 225 on the Smith machine for 12 reps, three sets, something like that. And then I went up to 245, but Dapa, he likes to do free weight, so that day we were doing squats together we're doing the free weights so i'm gonna give myself a little bit to adjust to the free weight so i'll be sticking with the two plates repping that until i get it really solid and then i'll start moving up that was the last time i hit legs really hard like that so we realized legs are not nearly as anabolic like our upper half looks like fucking crazy steroid fucking anabolic fucking testosterone for breakfast and then our legs are just, they're just underwhelming, you know, compared to our anabolic upper bodies. So we're like, all right, we are going to start spamming legs and we're going to get our legs fucking jacked as shit, strong as shit. And I mean, since we've been here, we've already done this with several different muscle groups. 
when Dapa first got here, his back was really lacking, and I was like, yo, we're gonna, we're gonna spam back. Traps, we're gonna spam traps. Chest, he's spamming his chest. So this is my philosophy with the fitness. Um, people talk about overtraining and bullshit like that. For me, I mold myself, like just like Arnold said, in pumping iron. You're looking in the mirror, you're like, oh, okay, I need some more delts. Oh, I need some more traps. Oh, I need my chest a little more. And you mold yourself like uh, like a sculptor with clay. Like you look at yourself in the mirror, you see what muscle groups you want to develop more, and you go work on those muscle groups. So that's how I work out. I spam when I when I want to see progress with the muscle group, I will spam it till I'll spam the fuck out of that shit until. And I've noticed. Maybe it's just my genetics or whatever, but I really think it's the proper way to train it. Um, I always get a really good, fast reaction. Like, wanted to start hitting back, realized I need to get those lower lats, started spamming it, all those different variations of rows and stuff. And now my back's looking fucking anabolic turtle shell. You know what I'm saying? So. Same thing with Dapa, same thing, his back is looking fucking crazy and that was one of his weaker points before we just started spamming it. So we're applying that to legs, so Dapa's still on his trip, handling his model gig, doing the model thing, being a pretty nigga. But uh, I'm just over here being a pretty nigga and not getting paid for it. He's getting paid for it, so shout out to Broski. Nah, but um, so it's just me, but we still gotta spam the fucking legs. And last time I went, it was only like an hour left. I got a really short workout. I got a great fucking pump, but I didn't get the chance to hit legs. So today I gotta go crazy on the legs. Focus on that first. And that's gonna be some shit, man. And I don't, I'm not crunched for time. So we'll see how long I really stay in there and beat myself the fuck up. It should be interesting. It should be a crazy fucking workout. Cause I got a lot of, I got a lot of demons to get off my fucking chest. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing about fitness and about working out, man. When you're in the gym and you're fucking breaking yourself, you're breaking all, you're breaking your fucking spirit, you're breaking your mental, you're breaking your body physically. That's, that's the trifecta right there. Mental, spiritual, physical. You're breaking yourself, you know what I'm saying? But when you're going through that process and you're breaking yourself like that, man, all the negativity inside of you. I've heard Wes Watson speak on this too. A fucking goat for sure. He says he purges, he has to get that negativity out. And I feel that because I feel like I'm letting all those fucking demons out too. I'm in the gym, anything I'm angry about, you know, this is also a meditation where I get to go into a certain state with myself where I can have a clear mind, be in flow state, ask myself the questions and get the answers that I need back from the divine and my higher self, me also, God, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be a hell of a workout. I'm gonna purge a bunch of fucking demons, get the fucking founding fathers off my back as me and Daba like to say. Fucking, it's gonna be some shit, so I should be feeling fucking amazing after. And maybe on the ride back, or once I get back to the crib, <clears throat> I can um, give you guys some crazy insights, because once you get that vibration higher, once you purge all that shit, you get some real good clarity after that. I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm kinda, I'm like, fuck, but I need to fucking, I'm just gonna eat, and I'm gonna force myself to go. Heard me speak about that on the channel too. I'm always an example of the shit that I'm fucking saying. I really don't feel like going. I know this is about to be fucking hell. I'm about to put myself through voluntarily. Like a true psychopathic, insane person. Cause why? But I know why. Because it's all about the fucking gains. And it's much bigger. It's much bigger than just the, the aesthetics. It's about the life gains. It's about purging that negativity. It's about getting them founding fathers off your fucking back. Get that shit off your back. It's about fucking, it's about staying committed to the fucking vision. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, this is a long little fucking pre-talk. Cause I'm really, 
trying to mentally prepare myself for this shit. And I want to share you guys what I'm going through so you can see when you don't feel like working out, you can just relate to this. So I'm going to see you at the fucking gym. Let's fucking go. But regardless, always remember. Global takeover. Global Takeover.
Global Takeover. Global Takeover.
Global Takeover. Goodness, this might have been the shortest workout I put on film. That shit killed me. So, I know this, this morning I was talking about getting my macros, but then I recorded. I got inspired and I got some knowledge from God that I wanted to share. I got hit with a lightning bolt of insight. So, I made a video. By the time I finished all that, I had my coffee. The day was just going by, so I just wanted to hurry up and get to the gym. So, I didn't eat. And I don't know, I do this to myself sometimes. I'm like, oh, it's okay. I'll just. Just have a few slices of bread, get some carbs, get some energy. I like fucking one slice of bread, bro. And really thought I was gonna go in there and kill myself with this workout. Really thought I was gonna go in there and absolutely smash, like Khabib says, smash, like smash. Like, I thought I was gonna go destroy my body, my mind, and my spirit with no energy, no food, no sustenance. It doesn't make sense. I had to get up out of there after only a few sets. I'm exhausted as shit. I hit legs for like six sets <laughs> to start. Holy shit. I mean, I still got a good workout. I didn't even do a pump check at the end. Maybe I'll do one at the crib. Maybe I'll get a little flex at the crib. It's not going to be gym lighting, but I'll get something. Definitely push myself. Definitely got a solid fucking workout. I don't know how to not work out like a psychopath. So good work definitely good money always yeah i thought i was gonna be there for like three or four hours but yeah i had to get up out of there man i gotta go eat and shower maybe hit the beach get my mental together and then i got some shit to take care of so but yeah man short workout short workout but hey you know work is work staying consistent that's what's important and macros are important too so i gotta go fucking eat man it's getting later in the day i don't want to have to eat fucking 3,000 calories in the second half of the day, so let's fucking get it, baby. Oh! The lighting is totally different, but let's hope we got something. A little quick something. Yeah, so really short workout today. Maybe I might go again later tonight. Not sure, but as you can see, I'm still very gazed up, looking anabolic as shit, looking fucking goddamn like a fucking silverback gorilla, which is more reason why you should have me be your mentor when it comes to this fitness shit. When it comes to you getting the physique that you want, because I got the answers for you. I'll get you on some macros. I'll give you some workouts to do. Progressive overload with calisthenics. And that's how you do this, man. That's how you get the gains like this, baby. You know what I'm saying? Traps is trapping. Buys is buying. You know what I'm saying? So you need to buy too. <laughs> 
do that I did there. So yeah, man, borderline anabolic, $250 for one month program. I'm gonna get you right. I want you to be a testimonial for my program so I could show other clients what I can do. But let's get some people in there, $250 for the month. That entails, I'll give you your macros that you need to meet, teach you how to track your macros. I'll give you workouts for training in the gym, calisthenics as well. And I'll teach you how to intuitively switch your workouts to shock your body and to keep the gains coming in. Also, for one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can reach out to me, take over worldwide on IG, DM me, and message me coaching, and we'll go from there. We can hop on a call for 30 minutes or an hour, however long you need, and whatever fits your budget. I've been hearing there's problems with the sites. I'm working it out right now, so if you're having trouble buying the Borderline Anabolic program from the link, just reach out to me on Instagram as well. Once again, take over worldwide. Got the original ad, very easy to remember. Reach out to me on there, and Message me anabolic if you want the workout program, the one month transformation program, or message me coaching if you would like to talk to me directly and have me coach you directly one on one. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I've been getting some really good feedback from the channel. Been focused on providing value to you guys. Come on, baby, let's get some transformation so we can show future clients what your boy Ab is capable of, not just with my own body's transformation, with yours too. Love you guys. Fucking get it. Always remember, ball regardless. Now that's a fact and that's a given.